Upon completing the task to drive out the Kaiden problem, Vera rests peacefully during nightfall. Across the sky, the shockwave roared throughout, awakening him from his slumber. Huh? What? What was that? Those stones were floating before, right? From the eastern peninsula, it appears. Limgrave sure can't go a day without a disturbance, can't it? Well, it looked like I'm not getting any more sleep, so I may as well see what this is about. Severo makes his way to the Eastern Peninsula, but is halted by a strange person in a cloak. You. You. Yes, you. Pardon me, but I'm on my way to go investigate those floating stones. Hark a moment. Those stones come from the surface. The stars have aligned yet again. Stars? Aligned? What are you on about? Radon, defeated, the cosmos cometh to us, opening new destinies. You mean General Radon, the demigod whom fought in the Shattering? Didn't he save the town of Celia from being destroyed? He who has fallen, he who held the stars in stasis, no more is the world in confinement. What are you talking about? Listen, I don't have time for your prattling about. I don't know who you are, but I have to go see what the disturbance is about. You will not. The prophecies have already begun. Prophecy? Did the rocks come to life or something? Congestia Habitus. How the? Why can I barely move? No one will disrupt. We will control the stars. We will change the prophecy. Be gone. Be gone. My Be gone. sight darkens. Hmm. Was that a dream? No, it was very real. Who is that cloaked figure? Hmm, perhaps I should make inquiries into this. Gabor is awaiting assignment. Kale is the merchant as usual. What about that chitin I spared? Is it possible he might have info? He lived off the beach west of Sated. Guess that's where I'll start. Severa travels westwards to the beach. At the far end, the spared Kaiden was camping. Hey! Greetings. Uh, I never got your name the other day. Hey, hey. Severu. Thank you again for sparing me life. My family and I were able to purchase some foods and wares by a Santa looking merchant. <laughs> he looked a tad startled to see me, but we came to terms. Ah oh yes, my name you wanted, right? Call me Huckfruce. Huckfruce. Like hacking out a foe with frost. Hmm. Glad to hear for you and your family. And to be of help. I sought you out, for I was wondering if you noticed that strange phenomenon overnight. Noticed? More like I could hear the shocker beat rumble the sands. The sands rumbled here when it occurred. Imagine what it'd look like seeing a wave of sand instead of water for a change. Only there is some physical and electrical energy somehow controlling its momentum. Could there be a possibility the use of gravity was involved? Might be. The wave was too stable to look like a natural cause. Interesting. May I ask you? The other night I ran into this cloaked figure. He had some ornament dangling from his necklace, but otherwise a dark cloak. Have you seen someone of the liking? Hmm. Near that you mentioned it the other night on these shores, I saw a group of cloaked people off to the south. Looks like they were 
occurred or planned something. Either way, they look suspicious. A group of them? This never leads anywhere good. Thank you for your info, Hawkfrost. Maybe I ought to look around the shores for their whereabouts. You do that. Although I don't count on any footprints with the sand wave cleaning the surface, they may have dropped the relic. I'll have to go treasure hunting with lucky for you, I may be able to help. Very well. Where should I start? South. It's where I last saw them headed. You got rainbow stones, right? Place them around and it should resonate with the material. Thank you, Hawkfrost. I'll see about locating these strange cultists. Take care. To very travel south along the beaches, placing stone after stone in hopes to discover a dropped relic. After an hour passed, a stone started gravitating purple towards a particular spot. Took long enough, but it seems I found something. Huh? A hematite stone. Sure have a strong pull towards the east. Only there's no way to cross these waters. Looks like I'll have to navigate downwards from above. Walking back to the surface above, Zabara encounters another cloaked figure. Oh, great. If these guys are here, something definitely isn't right. You there! You bear hematite, no robes. Who are you? My name is Severo. I've already met one of you. There's some kind of destruction going about in Limgrave, and I'm certain your group has something to do with some prophecy. You know? Alabaster lords have spoken unto you. Indeed. With the stars aligned, destiny unravels across the land. We summon the cosmos here, to hold another prophecy and make it our own. Hmm, thinking about it, what if I were to join their cult to discover more? You speak nothing? Why be here? What does it take to be initiated into your co- <coughs> group? You believe in the prophecy? Weeping Peninsula, a gathering, a shack, for initiates. A summoning is happening soon. Hastily, speak to the congregation head. I shall. Maybe a good time to inform Kale before heading out. Kale, have you noticed a strange phenomenon the other night? I have. Not long after, a uh, reformed Titan came by. Some of the debris was struck from a shock. I fear for Lingrave's safety at this point. Even the gate front ruins took another blow. The lake ruins have fallen apart. Whatever it might be is causing so much disruption in the entire continent. It's nowhere safe. Remain calm. I've learned there's some fellowship of the Cosmos cult aiming to create and change a prophecy due to something about Radon being slain. Wait, you said General Radon was slain? By the gods, so it's true. What is this fellowship of? Exactly what I plan to find out. I met with a member and he directed me to a gathering place to summon something. There I'll have an outfit and become an initiate. Afterwards, once I gain info, I'll rid of this problem. Be careful. If this started with Radon's death, there's no telling what can happen now anywhere. I'll keep it in mind. I'd best be off. To the Weeping Peninsula lies a gathering place for the Fellowship. Severo heads to the shack to outfit himself to be initiated with the summoning. Ugh. Robes. This is itchy, uncomfortable, and this annoying necklace feels like it's pulling me down. It's only temporary. The gathering seems to be starting. Brothers, sisters, we gather today. A new initiate, Severo. 
his tests to show us, to manipulate gravity, to join us in calling forth the alabasters. Soon another summon at Limgrave's shores. One of us, one of us, we summon, hear us, take upon us. Ahem, <coughs> uh, one of us, one of us, we summon, hear us, take upon us. Alabastia, Prodeon it Exendature, Hodi Anustris, Vocationibus, Sederam Ad Fabricandum Nobis, Novum Factum. Something is strange. Am I gaining this power to control it, or is it connected to the portal? Alas, amongst us, you arrive. So this is what they were planning. Not in my life. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Fine. Your cult is dissolved this day. You can control gravity on the surface at will and utilize it with your neutralistic tools. It won't be enough if you don't even know how to use your tools to begin with. One with us. One with us. One with us. What in the living rocks is this kind of magic? Intelligent being you are. Even in Blade. But one's intelligence is only defined by their ability to express it. Huh. Much stronger than anticipated. The head stated another summoning was to take place on the shores of Limgrave. I better get there quick. Not good. It's already been completed. The environment feels heavy. I can't jump or dodge. What power do these beings truly hold? <laughs> you think your gravity is enough to keep me down? Soon you'll be disposed of and Limgrave will have no fear of crumbling to dust. I will stop your prophecy. <laughs> Ugh, that strike was blunt. I barely feel I can walk stable from that force. I just need to get back to Kali and rest. <laughs> Servants, only they cannot stay dead. Servants will be banished back to the cosmos until they strike again. You left an impression. For now, your precious Limgrave will retain itself. You will meet another of us one day. What was that? And what does the cosmos have anything to do with this world? Hmm. I feel better, in fact. The air is lighter again. Kali and Hakros need to know. I return. I've also picked up some of this essence from an alabaster lord. Is it worth anything? Let me see. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid I've no idea what use it has, nor its value, but I'd hold on to it. Some night. Was rumored to flee Kaled after Radon's defeat, with a possible goal to investigate that massive hole in the ground to the east. Perhaps he'd know something about it. I see. A knight, but with no affiliation. Strange. Yes, it is. I'd reckon he's after some artifact housed deep in some place called... Nokron. Dangerous if you ask me. I'll have to pass back through Limgrave on his way back. 
But for now, here, your reward. Thank you for the coin, Kale. I'm afraid I have one more person to meet with before resting for the night. Take care. Last it shit barnacles. Oh. Hey, hey Severo. Where to hear the news? It appeared you were onto something after all. This group of the fellowship. Worshipping the cosmos and summoning some strange alabaster beings. I took care of it, but I fear there's something larger at play here, since Radon was recently slain as I'm told. General Radon? Who could this be? If Radon were through this land, then you'd be right, something larger had going on. No mere mortal could possibly have taken out a dear my god. Though you've neutralized the cosmos some enough, so we should be safe for now. Yes, we should be. I wanted to inform you, but if I may, if you see some knight pass through here, please you tell him to stop by a camp near the lake's arc bridge. I have some odd essence from the alabaster I've slain. Dear, I will do. The more ready in your dear, so you won't hear any complaints from me. How about you rest here for the night with me and my family before taking care of any other oddities going about? Sure thing. Why not? Been a while since I've had a cooked meal. Excellent. During my time amongst the clan, we've learned to get some prone and crab down by the shorelines. Watch out, cause the crab may be a little pinchy. One of them got her nose before cooking it. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Hmm, prone is pretty good. It sure is, lad. It sure is. The joy of cooking natural food. You should try it sometime. One day, perhaps.